Welcome back YouTube. Today we have another book review, another antiquarian book review. Uh, this particular volume I got from abbooks.com. This is Marshall's Epigrams, that is the Roman poet Marshall. Uh, as you can see here, it says privately printed from 1921. Now interestingly enough, it came in the archival Mylar and I'm not sure if this was done by the bookseller or the previous owner. Uh, but let's just go through the book itself. So we have the Mylar on top and then the inside, let's take a look at the covers. We have um, a soft paper fabric -y type cover here and then we have this buckram type spine. We have a little blemish here at the bottom that I'll try to clean off and then the leather label here which has the information. And likewise we have the same on the back. They're pretty clean overall. Put the Mylar back on here. If we open it up, you'll see it says one of 900 copies. This was probably done by the bookseller. Um, the standard end pages here, you can tell it's nice thick paper. Marshall's epigrams. And also to show is that the edges of the paper themselves are those rough hewn um, hand cut type edges here, which uh, adds a nice rustic look. So let's open up here. Marshall's epigrams and it says this edition is limited to 990 numbered copies for subscribers only and then it says this is number and blank so this particular book doesn't say who the private printer was or the publisher and interestingly enough it doesn't say um, which number this is now you may take this just says one of 900 copies although that's incorrect it's 990 numbered copies here so for all we know this could be the first it could be the last we don't know which copy uh, this is but it's interesting that the printer did not put which number it was so as you can see here it says Marshall's epigrams in 15 books uh, comp was it? Sorry. Uh, completely translated into English for the first time we have one of the original Latin epigrams down here this is eight um, epigram 8 there and then it says again once again privately printed for subscribers only and then we have an introduction and so on so this is a all English edition of the text and then we get into the epigrams the text is printed on actually really nice paper you have that classic old looking uh, handmade look of a uh, type paper here which is uh, really nice nice and thick uh, pretty clean for a uh, book of this age here and now we can get into a little bit and I'll show you something that I found was interesting so this must have been from one of the previous owners is somebody pressed a clover in here now I don't know if this is yeah it's a four leaf clover that was pressed in this piece of paper here within the book itself and this particular book that's part that it's pressed into is the notes to book nine and uh, I'll read you part of the translation one of my favorite epigrams which is book 10 number 47 so let's get there now All right, Marshall, the things that do attain, uh, by the way, this is commonly called the means to attain a happy life or the happy life. Marshall, the things that do attain the happy life be these I find, the riches left not got with pain, the fruitful ground, the quiet mind, the equal friend, no grudge, no strife, no charge of rule, nor governance, without disease, the healthful life, this household of continuance. The mean diet, no delicate fare, true wisdom joined with simpleness. The night discharged of all care, where wine and wit may now press. The faithful wife, without debate, such sleeps as may beguile the night, content with thine own estate, ne wish for death, ne, f ne fear his might. One of the nicest, I think, of his epigrams. Um, but the fact that it's in English will make it a easier read than if it were in Latin, then I'd have to have my... Uh, Latin English dictionary next to me to go through it and poetry is uh, 
more difficult than standard prose. But overall, that's Marshall's Epigrams, privately printed here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the leatherlibraryblog.com um, for more news and reviews. Don't forget to rate, to comment, to subscribe, and as always, guys, keep on reading. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more great content like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Of course, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the Leather Library's newest videos. Also, please make sure you visit the Leather Library blog for more in-depth articles on philosophy, literature, and the finer things in life. As always, keep on reading.